Hello and welcome to Liberty Nation's LNTV. I'm your host, Mark Angelides. And today we're talking about the Kyle Rittenhouse saga. What's happened in Kenosha? And to join us on this, we have Liberty Nation's legal affairs editor, a lawyer, and a self-defense and firearms instructor. Scott, welcome. Hi, Mark. Uh, Scott, everybody's talking about it. What's going to happen to Mr. Kyle Rittenhouse, the 17-year-old teenager? Um, obviously, laws change throughout the country, but does Wisconsin have a stand your ground law? You know, I've seen uh, this discussed and I think that it's uh, the wrong point of departure for our discussion to start, Mark, just because I think that Kyle Rittenhouse has a standard self-defense claim and we don't need to go into what may be particular to Wisconsin law because everywhere in the entire United States of America, if you haven't uh, first started a fight, okay, that's the one exception, but if you haven't first started a fight, for instance, and somebody is using uh, or threatening you with grievous bodily harm, you may use deadly force to repel that harm. That is a 50 state standard, no matter where and no matter when. And I think that for the three uh, or four shootings that are separately charged, there were four uh, times that Mr. Rittenhouse seems to have discharged his rifle. Uh, three times uh, into human beings, which is to say there are three shooting victims. Um, and, and one of the charges was for somebody who was shot at, but, but the, the bullets didn't make contact. So in each of those cases, Mark, I think Mr. Rittenhouse and his defense will mount a standard self-defense claim, which is to say that he felt, he, he reasonably believed that his life was threatened or that he was subject to grievous bodily injury all of which permit him to use deadly force in self-defense anywhere again in the United States of America, including still Kenosha, Wisconsin. So Scott, what are the charges that Mr. Rittenhouse is facing and how will these play out in court in your professional opinion? Mark, the most serious charges are the, the most serious charges any prosecutor can bring in the United States of America, first degree murder, the intentional uh, premeditated taking of somebody's life without just cause. Um, and we can, f and there are multiple other charges, uh, but, but that's the most serious and I think overcharged based on the facts. And I keep re-watching the several videos of the several shootings that are available, and reading the witness statements, which are many, and the charging documents, Mark. And I cannot understand how any prosecutor can make the case that, that, that this is in fact uh, a murder uh, that they can prove. Mr. Let me interrupt you there, Scott. Um, so if it is in fact that the prosecution is overcharging here uh, and uh, Mr. Rittenhouse isn't found to the level of, of guilt necessary to, to charge for that, um, what happens? Well, Will he be there, taken back out and charged sure, no. again and again? So there, there's something uh, in, in American law called, it's a doctrine of what's called lesser included crimes. So if I charge you, for instance, for speeding 100 miles an hour, uh, 70 miles an hour, if that's above the speed limit, is included in the 100 mile an hour. It's a lesser included crime. Um, and so uh, the most serious homicide charge that a prosecutor can make would be first degree murder, but a lesser included crime would allow uh, the finder of uh, fact in the case, a judge or jury, depending, uh, to say, well, it wasn't first degree, but we're gonna hold that it was a lesser murder, which is to say, or a lesser homicide. Uh, now, I believe that his self-defense claims will be upheld. Uh, honestly, Mark, every single video I see of them seems to lay out the basis for Mr. Rittenhouse's acquittal on murder charges. The first person that he shot, uh, Mr. Rosenbaum, in the charging document, it says that he was reaching for and grabbing for his gun. That's the eyewitness testimony we have that uh, the prosecution uses to base the indictment off of, uh, or the charges off of. It, it doesn't seem to me how any of this evidence can support those charges issued. I expect to directly answer your question that Mr. Rittenhouse will be acquitted of all charges uh, and that his self-defense claims will be upheld as valid as the evidence shows. We'll be following the case here at Liberty Nation through to its termination. Thank you again and thanks to you at home. Go deeper on the topic discussed in this video. Head on over to one of these links here or go to our Liberty Nation Roku channel. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for Liberty.